You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! All right, now with that being said, um, I want to switch to another subject. Okay. Right now, uh, there's a lot going on about promo. A lot of people have been talking about promo and should you promo, promo, how much you can promo as a battle rapper, right. so on and so forth. And from what I understand, it seemed like a lot of it stemmed from you, being that you are one of the biggest battle rappers who people respect so much, yet they feel like you don't get your just due because you don't promo as much. I know we saw in this known promo, and even known as a whole, people were saying that it wasn't promo to their likings or whatever the case may be. Now, I know in the actual known promo, the promo as a whole, you actually came with one of the best promos people say ever yeah. with that spawn or what was it? Oh, explain it. It was all oh, Red Hood. So Red if Hood. anybody's familiar with Batman, uh, you know, Red Hood is like the second Robin. And uh, it was just a, um, just like, cause I, uh, fuck with rock, study the games, but at the same time I want to kill him. So that was kind of the metaphor for that situation. Red Hood knew everything about Batman. It's really, you know, trying to take him out. So it's kind of, that was the angle I was going for. Yeah. But with that being said, can you talk a little bit about promo or do you plan to do more or do you have oh, a yeah. reason why so, you don't do as much promo? I'm or? glad you said that. So that was also the reason why I decided to step up my promo and also stand out in the promo because the fans are right. The fans are all right. Like, the fans, they may say certain things, but when the masses speak, there's always some truth to it. And um, I wouldn't be uh, a progressive or involved in battle rap if I didn't take everything into account. So that's what motivated me to want to make these promos and to step it up and try to like outdo everybody. Cause you know there's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? We got a private event, so we gotta you know just really just you know crack down and make this event as as, as popping as possible. So I said, you know what? Let me just do my part and do not only what the fans been asking for, but what I need to do for myself as a brand. And yes, this will continue because there's three other battles I have coming up uh, that I can't really speak about too much. But I'm like, I'm gonna definitely just start. People gonna be seeing me more. I'm gonna be promoting battles more. And that's. I should have been doing that, but I'm doing it now. It's better late than never. And we, we get to it. We get to it. Mm, mm, mm. So you talk about that because I know one thing is about promoting battles and so on and so forth, but you also talk about your brand. Yeah. Do you have other things that you're doing as far as you as a brand, or, or where do you see yourself going? Or what, um, what is your brand? Um, so, um, you know, I do a lot of different things. I do music. I got my own film company. I shoot videos, music, weddings, movies, all types of stuff. Um, I feel like for me with Battle Rap, I definitely want to find my ceiling and reach my ceiling and get to where I want to get to, then I want to take all of that and give it to the people that's coming up and give other people shots and give other people opportunities to come up. Just like, you know, with caution, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's even new guys out there that's amazing. You got Eunice, you got, uh, you know, it, like the, just a list goes on. I want to give all that energy back to the new crew and just be able to uh, give back. That's my whole thing, man. It's just, it's just everybody eat. That's my mindset. You know what I'm saying? Everybody eat, and I feel like the best way for us to keep battle rap going as a culture is if we give people the matches they want. It, it should be no weird stipulations. Like, if it, if, if it makes sense, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But, like you said, with the promo, everybody got to do their part. So once we do that, to keep the culture afloat, we bring in new sponsors, new big events, and we just make battle rap what it always was meant to be. And it's a fucking entertainment sport to where we're just like global and we selling our arenas. And we got to get these industry cats in here too, man. Like, they got to come in and mix it with us because we know they like what we do, so well, anything else you want to put out there? You think people should know? What's up? Um, I mean, just that for now, working on music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, features, music, promo, bookings for battles, anything. Hit me up at Jerry underscore West, 2 S no T on Instagram. Um, we working, man. And um, I got, like I said, I got two, three other battles coming up. Yo, it's the smoke, man. I can't take smoke, so my energy, like, I just, I'm glad it was over. Fucking smoke, man. voice is gone. But listen, man, that battle was fucking crazy. It's a classic, like we just said, man. Shout out to Tay Rock, man. It's Brooklyn, man. It's a bitch, man. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go!